Oh, you thought. Oh, you did think. You did think. You did, in fact, have a brain there. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Maya. Thanks for stopping by. And as you can see by what's going behind me, we're coming back with Bloodborne. So, I'm tired. I just worked 12 hours. So, anyways, uh, we're just going to hop into this. So, if you like this, you like this. If you don't, you don't. But either way, we'll be playing it. I'm going to be a little more chill right now because I'm running out of that much sleep. So, just going to switch this over. Um, and we're just gonna hop right into this. So, where did we even leave off? The hunter's room. What did we do? We leveled. Uh, great bridge. We, we killed the cleric beast last episode. Now we're off to, uh, to kill the final boss of this area. But first we gotta go explore some sewers. How's your guys' day going? Okay. The biggest yawns right now. Spider way out of here. I mean, I guess I could just like run by, but like, I don't think there's a point to that. Oh, we one shotted him now. Great. I don't think that should have counted, but whatever. Thank you for the blood vials. And on that note, we are going to run down this way. Did you drop anything? Because I don't want them following me, we're just gonna kill them. Ah, uh, I forgot to buy the stupid lantern. Ah, next time we go to the dream. Next time we go to the dream, I'll buy it. now, though, we at least have... <gasps> I forgot we can go talk to an NPC. We're gonna go do that real quick. Oh, Mr. Gilbert, I would like to talk to you. Shit, shit. If I die right here, I might actually cry. That's me, guys, today. Utter trash. Yes, I see. But the Great Bridge is the only way to the cathedral. <laughs> My water. legs. And during the hunt, the bridge is closed. Hmm. You could try the aqueduct. Aqueduct. There's a rather, how shall I put it, colorful area south of the Great Bridge. From there, an aqueduct leads to the cathedral ward. <laughs> Not a place you'd normally want to visit, but I don't imagine you have much of a choice, do you? Well, you're rude. I have all the choice. Okay. Just a repeat of what you'd already said, so moving on. I need a taller stool to stand on, to stand on, sit on. There's so much going on right now, and my brain's not awake enough to comprehend any of it. Wing and a miss! Like, killing them doesn't really, like, give us that much, but, you know, just because I don't like to hear them barking. Gotta make sure we do. Or do. 
he dead. Dead, 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 dead. Uh, we already talked to her, not, and she doesn't have much to say to us right now because we don't have anything to tell her. But we're gonna be making our way down into the sewers. You're dead. Thank you for the blood vials. I actually really need those things. Excuse me. Got some items to cut down. Old blood dew. That's not what I want to press. Here. Yeah. Clunk. Ooh, I'm glad that beam was there. A hunter must hunt. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. It's me. I'm the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Are they? Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're a little different from the beasts themselves. Thank you. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. A hunter must hunt. Doesn't actually sound like that, but like, you know, it's, it's the joke. It's the blood. It's, it's just part of Bloodborne now, you know. All right. Anyways. Find a way to safely drop down here without taking too much damage. And we're gonna sneak up on him and oh, pow! You're dead! And you gave me an oil urn? An oil urn? You don't even use oil urns! Whatever. Whatever. No! Oh, my god, I got it. I hate it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get that. That would suck. Bloodstone shard. Thank you. I enjoyed that. I really did. It was great. It was fantastic. Well, to you, I must say. Thank you! Twice. That could have gone better, if, I, if I'm being honest. That could have gone better. But, uh, I didn't see that he was already up and aiming his gun at me when I, uh, was running over, so. It is what it is. One item on the beams. Gonna run around and kill all these frickin' crows. We're gonna commit a murder! A pebble! We love them pebbles. More oil urns, which could potentially be useful. I mean, kinda. Kinda. I don't know where else I'll use them at in the game. I'm sure I'll figure out something. I don't know if I'll actually use them, I'll probably just sell them. Mitch, the drop, damn. One stone shards. How many more do we need? We have two. We need eight. We need six more. Okay. Now we're gonna climb up. We're gonna go. We're gonna go drop down to grab those items that we cut down from up top near Eileen. 
Did I even tell you guys her name? Her name's Eileen. Oh. Hello. Nice of you to drop in. Nice. There you go. Throwing knives. Those are actually kind of useful. More bloodstone shards. And I think this is a madman's mat. A madman's knowledge? Madman's knowledge. And those give us uh, insight. And with the insight, it lets us either buy things from the insight shop and or uh, to see things that we normally wouldn't see. But I'm a coward and I will be spending my insight because I'm a coward. That's, that's all there is to say about it is I'm a coward. Just going. Flash drop down. Excuse me. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll take that. The sauce beer. Which is basically the same thing as the sock paper, which we're using, but instead instead of doing a Overhead attack like that, it's a thrust attack. Okay, now we can just basically move on. We're done in this area. If you notice I missed an item, feel free to tell me and I can go grab it. Um, I just, you know. I know where most of the items are, but like it's, I'm bound to forget some, so. You're dead! Oh, you thought. Oh, you did think. You did think. You did, in fact, have a brain there. You knew what you were doing. Cross, yes. Cross, yes. Think you're all dead? You're dead? You're dead? You're very dead. Perfect. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. We're gonna, we're gonna go talk to another NPC, guys. Oh, after a very, very long ladder. Bradley, my whiskey, me. My coffee black and bad and green. You're too sweet for me. Excuse me? I'm swinging a miss. We're gonna miss. It's normal. It's normal, guys. We can't all be perfect. Excuse me. All question for you. I'm sorry. You had like a sliver of health. Wretched outsider. Trying to fool me to open this door. Totally. Heavens, the depths of depravity. The depths of depravity. That's about all she'll have to say about that. She's not a unique NPC at all. Oof, why'd you move again? You see him? Ragdoll mechanics. And this this uh, shortcut just takes us back to where the laughing ladies were. But now she's gone too. I'm all alone and scared. We'll find your mother. Really? Oh, thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. It plays one of Daddy's favorite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mom's so silly when I'm off without it. Oh, so silly. How dare she? How dare she do that? My 
mom went yesterday. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, that being said, now we can just go back to the sewers now that we've climbed up that long ass ladder and talked to the little girl. We have a quest to go find her mother. And I bet you know how that turns out. I bet you know. No happy family for this one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hello? Wing and a fucking miss, my guys. Hello. I don't remember. Is there an item back here? No, not in this one. Okay. Hello, hello. Excuse you. Unacceptable. Unacceptable and unacceptable cat. Ah! I'm mean, stuck in a corner. Alright. Man, this dude's still alive, so take him out. Pick up some more bloodstone shards because hell yeah. I don't think we're gonna hit plus three before. Yeah, we still need three more. There's no way we're hitting plus three before we fight the boss for this area. But it would be cool. Would you like to come down? Of course you come down as I'm shooting you. Of course. Of course that's what happens. So, normally I would say we'd go fight that. And typically the pig is the easier way to go. But I hate fighting pigs, so we're going to come at the pig from behind. We'll go back down to that area to grab some items. But first, we're going to come up here. We're going to activate a shortcut in case we die, because it is it's probably going to happen. And then, while that's going up, we are going to lure some idiots into a trap. We just run straight down, off to the side, watch. And they stand there like idiots. And then, boom, pulling pins for an ex fiery explosion. That being said, every now and then, some one or one of them will m be like missed by that, and they just you just gotta run up and kill them. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. I wasn't sure I was going to get that visceral on the stairs. You gave me shining coins? Shining coins? Unfucking believable. Okay. We're going to come behind this pig and we're going to give him a colonoscopy. Piggy prostate exam, if you must. Right up the bum hole. Saw Hunter badge, that'll let, that'll let us buy some others. Like, they'll let us buy, like, the starting weapons and something else. I don't remember, though. I don't remember what it was. But that was about all we needed to grab from that area, so. Now to climb back up this extremely long ladder. Do I have Molotovs on me? I don't know if I have Molotovs on me. This is gonna suck. Oh well, full temp, full temp. Yeah, I don't. Damn, that's actually unfortunate. Actually unfortunate. It's fine, we'll make this work. If we can beat him first try, I'll take it though, because that'd be great. Can't kill me in visceral animation, bitch. Blood vials, I'll take them. More blood vials. Gold hunters marks are great. Anyways. 
let's find ourselves Father Gascoigne. This is probably like one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. <laughs> my fucking knees! <laughs> Look at his teeth, he's turning into one. Come here, fucker. Are you serious? Oh, 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 oh. Come here, come on, come on, do it again. I tried to roll and it didn't roll. I want to get to some flat ground. You bitch. What? What's, What's that, that smell? smell? Be able to do this first try. <laughs> he weird is Mike. I'm pretty. I'm really bad at trying to remember how to parry him. No! I'm not getting that one. Come here. Come on, come on, come here. Oh, he's turning. He's turning. Okay, I can do this, guys. I can do this. Shit. No, 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 no. I'm stuck in a corner. We need like one more of those, but. No! No! Oh, victory! Fuck you. You, I did it. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> in case you're unaware, um, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I just talked about this maybe in the first episode, but if I didn't, I love Bloodborne. But the first time I ever played it, the first time I picked up Bloodborne, because it was on sale in a Fred Meyers, it was in the discount bin, I was like, oh yeah, this looks like a fun game. So yeah, this is the little girl's and I was basically like, holy shit. Okay, listen, this is fun. This is great. And then I get to Father Gascoin. And he kicked my ass. He kicked my ass quite a few times. And then I said, fuck it. And I put down the game and I didn't touch it for a while. For a long while. And then I decided one day to pick it up again. And the feeling of victory. When I finally beat Gascoin's ass. Made me fall in love with the game. It was great. So, I don't know. Yeah, Gasplane is like. He was way. Like, in my mind, he was way too hard for what I was trying to figure out how to do. But being forced to learn the mechanics and being like, learn his attack patterns is nice. It's nice. I enjoy that. I enjoy being forced to get good. Not that I am any good, but I enjoy being forced to try and get good, you know? The Bergenworth spider hides all manners of rituals and keeps
keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame, it makes my head shudder uncontrollably. I always expect those to be like poems, and then they're never poems, and it kind of makes me sad. This will probably be a shorter episode. We'll just get to the... That's gonna last, but gems on our own. Um, but we're just gonna get to the next uh, lantern for the next area. They'll take some boss. And then, yeah, we'll call it good. It'll just be a little bit of a short episode. But it is what it is. I know, I'll, pro I'll, con I'll continue recording, though. I still, I've got to get a couple of these done. So. At least two more episodes recorded. I might take a break for lunch. forget we are going to break this because we're not gonna we're not gonna sell the little girl her her, her mom is dead because and we're just gonna use that gem in our weapon hmm? oh you must be a hunter a hunter very sorry the incense must have masked your scent good good i've been waiting for one of your ilk i've been waiting These for one of your ilk everyone all locked up inside Waiting for it to end. Oh. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. The screams no, of women folk. Tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, Tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be Erden. safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. That's really... Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> First thing, good sir. I know, I'll be fine. Oh. Okay, anyways. Um... Yeah, we're gonna light the lamp, and then we're gonna go talk to some NPCs before coming back here to... to uh... Actually, hold on. Hold on. We need three more. I try and remember where there's an if so we can get the three what do you call them? So if we can get the three bloodstone shards. If we can get the three bloodstone shards, we need to upgrade our weapon to plus three before we head back to the dream. Because that would be great. And as you can see, these crows are just a little bit stronger, uh, taking two hits to kill them again instead of the one that was back in Central Yarnum. I need some bullets. You're dead. And you're dead. Hell yeah. Is me. Only one of you gave me an item. Heck you. Uh, also, shields in this game are absolutely worthless. I would never recommend you. This game wants you to be aggressive. It wants you to get up close and personal with these guys. So just do what the game wants you to do, you know? But to be fair, play the game however you want. I really shouldn't be the one telling you how to play. Did you miss my dude? Is it just because I'm that short? Is it because I'm that short? It's probably because I'm that short. <laughs> Dead. Miles, I'm gonna come over here and grab. Oh, watch, watch, watch. So that thing is. We would be able to see it. But we don't have enough insight. Of course, I think it's like an ungodly amount of insight to get, but like, we'll see it later, later on. But yeah, that thing, that thing will be important. First. Yeah. Yeah, boy. 
And then I just want some... What do I want? I want... Let's not charge. Where would be the easiest way to get them? Where would be the easiest way to get them? Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Figuring things out. Figuring out the logistics of this. Ooh, big dude. Big dude. Easiest way to take those guys down is to aim for the bone in the leg. You need one more, right? Just one more? One more. One more. Just roll through it. Just roll through it. See? Yes. Aim for the leg and it stuns them enough that you can just harass them. Did you really just stand up to die again? How unfortunate for you. Anyways, I just need some bloodstone shards, my dudes. Uh, we might as well just clear out this area because this is a dead end. So we'll clear out this area here and then we will go back. I need some more... I need some more bullets, again! Man, temper, temper, my dude! And of course you give me some shining bloody coins. All an Asuka be, bitch. Heck you, heck you. No. God, heck you. Stupid ass crows. Me some blood vials. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyways, look how pretty this game is. Like, look, look at that. Oh, the colors. The colors in this game are pretty gorgeous. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. We have it more than enough bloodstone shards, guys. I still don't have any bloody goddamn molotovs, do I? I only have one of those. God, I actually can't do shit. We'll have to we'll have to quit out and re reload the area. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get to that dude. Oh shit. I panic rolled there. Excuse you, how are you whipping? God, how were you whipping? Are you an idiot? I swear she's an idiot. Wait, anyways. We're gonna put out real quick. Putting out like this, it uh, reloads the... What are they called in this? They're the crystal, the crystal lizards from Dark Souls? Wandering Nightmares. They're called Wandering Nightmares in this. It reloads the Wandering Nightmares. Yeah, normally I would just throw a Molotov and it kills it, but uh, I forgot to reload my Molotov, so I don't have any in my inventory, guys. Unfortunate. Unfortunato avocado. See, we have more than enough now. See, we only need three, and we only need one more bloodstone shard and then when we get the weapon I want to get we'll be able to instantly get it to plus three which will be nice It'll be very nice I almost forgot we need to make sure we get the lantern the hip lantern thank you thank you for that but now we can go back to the uh, do I even want to run all the way back? I don't think I do. Yeah. I'm 
I'm too lazy to run all the way back. We'll just we'll just take that. We'll be fine. But now we can go back to the dream. We can level our weapon, sell some things, and then probably use the rest to level ourselves up, and then we can go talk to some NPCs. I don't know. We're only 35 minutes in. We'll see we'll see where we are. Uh, first things first. Sell. I want to... I'm not going to use those. Sell those. I'm not going to use that. We'll see. Oh, we'll keep it. I probably... We'll keep it. I'll probably use them. I'll probably use them. We won't use that, so we'll sell it. We won't use that, so we'll sell it. Sell that. Please. Yeah, we'll sell all these. Okay. And then keep those. <laughs> there we go, noise. Going to go. I Garmin's back. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek. A holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Communion. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again. In the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? I mean, if you say so. One of the... Okay, okay anyways. Moving on. We're going to fortify our weapon. And now it's plus three. Heck yeah. Gonna add some gems. Giving us to plus 15 physical attack, which is, you know, not great, but it's not terrible. Not terrible. And then from here, I want to make sure I have bullets. Those. And there shouldn't be anything else in there. Move in on one. Lantern, lantern. Go buy the lantern. I almost forgot again. I was about to go spend all of our, our freaking, um, all of our freaking souls on, uh, Sorry, I can think. Levels. Oh yeah. Uh, so these are all the other, all the other weapons we can buy right now. Outfits. But uh, this thing. So this thing right here, um, where we have the dead end. If you go up those stairs, it takes us to a gate, and we can open the gate if we buy this. But you can go around a back way to get into it, get into that area without using any echoes. So that's what we're gonna do. It also lets us explore more of the game, you know. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Uh, to channel blood echoes, and then we'll talk Very to you after. Well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Uh... So, we'll just throw that in there to make even. One, two... One, one. That's good. That's good. Unless. And it's not really that much of a difference. We'll leave it. I forgot about these things. These things. These things. Helped out. Yeah. They'll add a lot, but you know. They'll add enough. 
it'll add enough. I don't know, maybe we'll be able to get one more level out of it. Probably not, well, though, huh? What... Very well, then. Yeah, I know, we said. Not enough for one more level. Oh, well. Very well. I wanted to talk to you. Let me talk! Over time, countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Very well, let me... I wanted to press talk again. I miss pressing all my buttons. Over time, it... Farewell, okay. good... What we want to do. We're gonna go to first floor six. Mow, mow. That's what my baby said. Mow, mow, mow. When my heart starts pumping, easy get you do now. Never stop. Easy get you do me. I love you. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Ankles. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Yes, ma'am. Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. What? This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. Doesn't that sound sketch? I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Mm, very. What are well, you rewarding me with? Off you go then. If you find it, please. If you, you please. Okay. All right, that's that's it for you, Sefka. Um, and honestly, we won't be sending too many people her way, just because you get more like NPC storylines sending them to the other place. But you know, for a few, there's like maybe one or two people we'll send this way. All right. well, now we're gonna go run. We need to talk to Gilbert again. The little girl and the old lady. Cursed beasts. Cursed beasts. Eeny meeny little beasties. I'm trying to think of the easiest way to get to all these people. Gilbert's just right here. You can get to the old lady easily from here. Concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I take this, gives us the flame sprayer, which is great, but we don't have the arcade for it. I made no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate. Unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. Ah, uh, do And that's about it from Gilbert. He'll ha he has nothing left to say to us. Blood files, thank you. Thank you very much. I forgot about this. Uh, it? There we go. It's not the brightest thing, but it it works. You know, it works. Okay, right. now go talk to the old lady. And what would be the best way to get the girl? Uh, 
No, I don't think Eileen has anything else to do. I'm to go talk to her. I much better ways to pass the time. Well, I have much better ways to pass the time. You found me a nice, safe place. I have. Go to Udin Chapel. Udin. An outsider worth a lick of salt. Worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? No. Go and slit some throats. Get this mess done with. Man, so demanding. Uh, um, sorry, I'm just thinking. The best way to get to the little roll would be to go up to the bridge. I think this would be the fastest. You're dead. Your curse. And then we gotta fight these dudes. Oh, hey, yeah, I just remembered I'm still a coward. I dodged the wrong way, my dude. to the fucking floor, you motherfucking bitch. Ah, you hoe. You absolute hoe. Fucking bullshit. Whatever, whatever, moving on. Vials, silver bullets. Yeah, this is fine. All right, and now we're back at the level. Hello, Miss Hunter. Still can't <sighs> find my mom. No. Oh, okay. I can wait. But isn't there something I can do? Maybe mom and dad are stuck out there, waiting for me to come and find them. What do you think, Miss Hunter? Totally. But with that, I think you should go to Yosefka's clinic because we can get something from her later on. Yes, okay. Thank you, Miss Hunter. I love you almost as much as Mom and Dad and Granddad. So um, and then from there, we're just gonna use one of these. So, if we send her to Yosefka's clinic later on, we can we find her and we can get a rune from her. Whereas if we were to send her send her to Uden Chapel. She doesn't make it, she gets caught by the pig and eaten. And when we kill the pig, it drops a... What does it drop? It drops a, a bloody ribbon. And if we were to continue that storyline with the bloody ribbon, which is a cosmetic for the little for our little dude here. It's a cosmetic for them. Um, but if, we're, if, we, if we were to continue that storyline, it would... Um, Later on in the game, we would come back and we could talk to her sister and give her sister the ribbon. The sister loses it and will proceed to throw herself off the side of herself. But, um, I don't remember what happens to the sister when we send her, when we send the little girl to the use the clinic. So we'll see what happens there because I really don't remember. I typically go the pig route. Oh, hello. You're all right. Very good. She's safe with me now. I presume you're to thank? The treatment is going well. Stabilized, for the most part. Fascinating, really. Here you are, as promised. You what elixirs? I don't even like oh, those. Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear. Find me some more. 
There may yet, if you find, I endeavor to tr So please. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're done in Central Yarno for now. We got what we wanted. Now we're out of here. Here, we can go back to the, what's it called? We moved! Sell. We can sell these, because we're never going to use them. My math is all sorts of wrong. Give pens. Uh, we'll sell that. And the rest of those should be fine. Okay, and then she's just gonna hang out up here. I think we have enough for one level. Well, what is it here? Very well. Maybe two. Then. Not just one. I know. I kind of want to do two levels at a time, though. So we'll, we'll hold on to it now. Farewell. Well, do you have anything else to say first? I doubt it, but Welcome. just in case. What is it? Over time. There you go. Okay. And then is Spearman here? Yeah, he is. Gonna be snoring right now, but I just wanted to double check. All right, and now from here we can just we can go to the Cathedral Ward. At some point, Eileen moves. I think it's after this next boss, but don't quote me on that because I don't remember. We're figuring it out as we go because I remember most, but not all. Yeah, see the white messenger ribbon. That's the one we get. We would get from the little girl. Um, the sister. It went once the bloody ribbon is given to the sister. The sister will clean it and then portion it herself. And then we find the white ribbon on her. Oh, uh, talk to this dude. Ah, oh, the hunter. Thank you. So that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Obviously. Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still. I'd rather see her alive, anyhow. Right. If you find any saints of all sin. We can talk to her. She doesn't have very much to say to us right now. Oh, no. I haven't forgotten. Do you think I owe you something? Yeah, totally. <sighs> well, that's a fine lark, I'd say. This old mess at Yarnum's in. It's all your fault. Get fidgety outsiders. You fidgety outsiders. Our blood's ruined. Tainted by your ilk. Don't you come near me. I know your type. I know your type. You. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I know all your tricks. You. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. And now we can move on. Perfect. You too. Come here. They have a very wide parry window. So, they're usually pretty chill. Anyways, we're gonna move on. We're gonna get to the next land, and then we're gonna call this an episode. Because it won't take us too long to get there. It's not that far. And we have one more NPC to talk to. Yay. He's a cool NPC. I like him. If you like... Um, shit, what is his name? I want to say Alistair. But that doesn't sound right. Solaire. If you like Solaire, then uh, you will love this guy. Well, kinda. He's kind of crazy. I got a little cocky there. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. I got a little too confident. This is fine, guys. Oh, I'll let's all cocktails. Those will be great for some of the for one of 
for this upcoming boss? Is it this boss? No, it's the next boss. Alright, uh... I'm sorry. I am fidgeting so much right now. My knees and my ankles are killing me. I've been on my feet for 12 hours just to come and stand on my feet for another hour. <laughs> uh, so I can record this. But, yeah. It is what it is! You thought... You fucking thought. I'm gonna roll through that mess. Because I am faster than you. I am speed. Ciao! Hello! Is, name, is, this, is it this dude's name that's Alistair? You're a beast hunter. No, this is you? Alfred. I I'm knew it. the name Alistair. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Joyful cooperation. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this. To celebrate our acquaintance. To celebrate our acquaintance. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. May the good blood guide your way. Oh, shit. There must be... Go on. There must be oodles for us to As share. You know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. While I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. Nice. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But Bergenworth. Today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Password? I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. Yeah. May the good blood guide your way. We can move on now. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you. He seems really sweet. Later on, we find he's batshit insane, so. It is what it is. Right. So we're almost to the next lantern, and then we can call this episode good. It'll be just a little over an hour, but it'll be fine. Yeah, I need at least... I need to record at least two more of these. Oh shit. But maybe not today. My legs really hurt. Oh. God, imagine if I had done leg day on top of this. I'm not sure I'd be standing. You'd be looking at you'd be looking at blank screen. I'm not sure I'd exist. I'd be able to exist on camera. I, I know there's a way to parry them. How do they how do I do it? I figured it out. A bloodstone shard? Thanks! I love it! Oh. 
that was not as far of a drop as I thought it was going to be. But I wanted this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And moving on. We get to our next lantern. And then we call it good. Uh, first though, there's an item back here we want. We're gonna... Those will, be, those will be pretty useful for this boss. Alright, and we are gonna call this one here. So, I do hope you guys are enjoying this. We're gonna wave goodbye to our dear executioner. Bye bye And we are going to... I do hope you guys are enjoying this. I absolutely love this game. I am completely willing to expand on any thoughts or if you guys have questions, um, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. I'm completely willing to answer any and all of them, but I'm pretty tired right now. So I'm gonna call this one here. I do hope you guys are enjoying this. If you like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. And if you have any games you'd like to see me play, you can either leave them in the comments and or there is still a Google form link to the game down in the description down below. But that being said, I will see you all. In my next video. Bye bye.